Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're gonna talk about the end of Rooster Teeth on YouTube. Apparently, they're changing its revenue tactics, Rooster Teeth is. They're moving their content off of YouTube and to its website. Uh, they're moving to the website. This is, this is not a good sign. And uh, I gotta give a hat tip to uh, Lupus and Lepus. I totally missed this because I don't see the uh, I don't see the headlines anymore because uh, on on Twitter slash X they do not show you the headlines anymore. But um, I can tell you as a guy who has run websites for a number of years and as someone who has been a content creator, a monetized content creator on YouTube for five or six years, that they're lying. They're lying. They're dying and they're lying. That's that's it. Rooster Teeth is dying and they're lying about it because they're desperately trying to get you to go to their website because uh, either they're selling ads directly or they're going to try to, you know, rope you into a membership or something. They're going to paywall Rooster Teeth. So let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Again, geeky sitting this one out. Uh, let's talk about this coming from Deadline. We're going to look at this video too, and I'm going to tell you why this is a bunch of horse poop. Uh, Rooster Teeth is changing its revenue tactics, moving its content from YouTube to its website. Um, yeah, a move designed to bolster revenue that will allow them to create more content. If Rooster Teeth was going to make more revenue, they would have done it by now. Rooster Teeth is bleeding out. Rooster Teeth is... Uh, a vestigial company that Warner Brothers happened to come across, happened to buy because they bought uh, or they got absorbed by AT&T. And then when uh, AT&T spun Warner Brothers off into its own thing, all the Otter Media stuff, I guess, went along with that. And Rooster Teeth is like the last thing left because they bought Machinima and they bought a bunch of other like YouTube things back in the day. And it became part of uh, Otter Media. It was full screen. I think full screen bought them. It became part of Otter Media and they don't know what to do with Rooster Teeth. So Rooster Teeth, like one month, they're like, hey, we're going to do podcasts, everybody. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, that didn't work out. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, we're going to be an animation studio and we're going to do other people's animation. Oh, they're outsourcing all that overseas. Okay. That's not working out very well. Hey, guys, uh, watch our YouTube videos. We're going all in on YouTube content. Oh, hey, some of our guys were having sex with some groupies. And that didn't, that kind of blew up. Achievement Hunter shut down if you guys didn't get the memo. They shut Achievement Hunter down. So that's okay. That's okay. Uh, if you if you go to our website, we're going to make more money and we can still make content. I'm like, nah, nah, dude, it's over. Okay, if you got to if you got to paywall your content. And we're going to talk about the numbers cuz the the reason they want you to go to their website is their YouTube numbers are atrocious for the number of subscribers that they have. Okay, they're bleeding out. Um so in a video posted to X, showrunner Carrie, Carrie Shawcross said that YouTube revenue is not cutting it for us anymore. Okay, let's, let's watch this video. Let's watch part of this video. Can I watch this video? Hey, everybody. My name is Carrie Shawcross. Who, who is this guy? I don't know who this guy is. Oh. If you don't know me, I'm a showrunner here at Rooster Teeth. Okay, that explains it. He's a showrunner at Rooster Teeth. All right, I, I've never heard of this guy. Should I have heard of this guy? I don't know who this guy is. Lately, some of you may have noticed that uh, a lot of our big shows like Red vs. Blue and Camp Camp have gone from being on YouTube and our website to just our website. You yeah, <laughs> people have noticed. And I think uh, Red vs. Blue is is ending uh, here pretty soon. They're trying to get subscribers. They were trying to turn Rooster Teeth into like a Netflix or like a, a Verve or Crunchyroll or whatever. And that space is kind of drying up. I, I think what's going to happen Honestly, is Rooster Teeth is going to be a brand and they're just going to like, uh, you know, punt the content someplace else. And then Warner Brothers Animation will probably just wind up doing any any future Ruby or Red versus Blue. They're already outsourcing Ruby. Did they reboot Ruby as an anime? Like they don't even need they don't even need Rooster Teeth anymore. You might be asking yourself, why would you guys do that? There's an honest answer. And that is YouTube revenue just is not cutting it for us anymore. Uh, OK. This is, this is not completely honest, dude. Carrie, you're not being honest. This is what they're telling you to tell people. Uh, I can tell you as someone who's running a website, uh, the reason that your YouTube revenue is down. Now, these are the, the views that they went down because they, they dumped a bunch of content. The reason that your YouTube videos uh, are not making you a lot of money is that you have over 9 million subscribers. You had 10 and then a bunch of people left. 
Like, look at this. People are just jumping and shit, man. And you're, you're bringing in less than 100,000 views a day. Okay. Rinky Dink Clownfish TV. This is our, our web. We're not a very big YouTube channel. And uh, we're getting more views than that. That's hard to tell on Social Blade, though, because Social Blade is like all over the place. Like some days they'll dump a bunch of views and then some days they don't. But on average, we're getting more views than Rooster Teeth. And we're actually down this month. The reason you're not making money, it's just like G4 TV, right? You're trying to bullshit the, the higher ups. The reason you're not making money is you're not getting views. Nobody's watching your content. YouTube ad rates are actually some of the best on the internet still. And uh, you could get direct sponsorships and stuff like that still, but nobody's watching your content, dude. That's 7,000 views. Look at this. Four days ago, 6,000 views, 7,000 views. Let's look at, look at, this. look at this, look at this, rooster teeth. Okay. 14,000 views, 7,000 views, 15,000 views, 7,000 views, 7,000 views for rooster teeth, 12,000 views. And this is like a whole freaking studio. You know what I'm saying? They got like a whole studio going on here for 12,000 views, 13,000 views. Barbie gets probed. What? How to fake your personality. Coming from Rooster Teeth, 6,000 views. Rooster Teeth has become a, a, a shell of its former self. Rooster Teeth has basically become the nerd crew at this point. They become everything that like the Marvel channel has become. Just a bunch of generic people uh, talking nerd stuff, you know, but it, it's not working. They're not, it's not resonating with the audiences. What made Rooster Teeth? Rooster Teeth was the personalities behind it, the old school personalities behind it. And most of those guys are gone. I don't know who most of these people are. Who are these people? I don't know who these people are. Now, Red versus Blue got 390,000 views. But they're doing like all kinds of goofy ass stuff on YouTube. And no, it's not going to work. And people, if they're not watching you for free on YouTube, they're not going to pay for your stuff either. You know, I'm sorry. They're just not going to pay for your stuff. Let's, let's go back to this. To give you an example, if you go to our site right now and watch a video for free with an ad, we get approximately five to 10 times more value from that ad than we do a watch on YouTube. It um, not really. I don't think so. And unless you're a subscriber, I don't think so. Maybe they have direct ad sales. I mean, I don't know. Everybody's, everybody's model is different, but Again, my personal experience is that YouTube ad rates are pretty decent, but you got to bring the views. If you're not bringing the views and you, you're paying for a studio and you're paying for, you know, high production values and, and all these people and the cameramen and interns and, you know, whatever the hell you're doing and you're only bringing in, you know, 80, 90,000 views a day. Yeah, you're not going to pay for yourself. You're going to wind up like a G4 TV. It just doesn't make sense anymore for us to have our whole back catalog on YouTube. We need you guys to come over our website. Still watch it for free. You could sign up for okay, first if you there want. you go. We know that there that's frustrating go. for some of you, but it's just the reality of, of what we need to do. Uh, yeah, because Daddy Zazlav is telling you you have to make money. That's what I think is going on. I think Rooster Teeth is on the chopping block. I think they're being told you make money or we shut you down. Animation's hard and it's expensive. Yes. There's some shows like Ruby that now rely on production partners or distribution companies. But for the most part, our shows rely on you. Well, then you should have stayed independent. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the biggest mistake, the biggest mistake that Rooster Teeth ever made was selling out. You know, they sold out originally. They had no way of knowing that Warner Brothers was going to wind up with them, you know, but uh, they sold out to get more money to make more stuff. And um, it's a it's a very corporate corporate company now. Have you seen have you seen um, this, whatever the stupid show is they're doing now? Um, something, a dog show, dog bark, dog bark. Have you seen that? That's awful. I mean, we're talking like Nickelodeon levels of cringe, but not as smart as, is like your average nineties Nickelodeon show. And with adults, not children, it's really cringy stuff. And that support comes from watching on our website, even if it's for free. And, and look, if you haven't been to the website in a while, I get it. Go check it out again. Okay. So now <laughs> This is where we're at, guys. Please come to our website. We know people don't really do websites anymore, but uh, our corporate owners are telling us you must go to the website uh, because we can't hack it on YouTube. We're getting buried on YouTube. I'm like, well, maybe if you didn't sell yourselves off, 
to some corporation, maybe if you didn't have scandal after scandal, maybe if you kept the OG team intact, uh, you would have been fine, but you, you didn't. You didn't. It's, it's being updated constantly. I think you're gonna have a better experience than you expect. Becoming a first member is always helpful and it just shows us you know, how much you want to support our shows. Those are the things that are gonna allow us to make more content that you love, uh, like Red vs. Blue, like Camp Camp, or even new shows. Well, Red vs. Blue is ending, isn't it? I think it's ending soon. Um, so I, I don't... Ultimately, it's about making sure that your support is going as far as it can go. That's how- Ultimately, it's about, it's about juicing you for as much money as we can juice you for, because again, we have to make money or we're gonna get shut down. We get to make more cool stuff. Again, thank you all for your support. We really appreciate it. So please come to our website, watch for free, or become a first member if you really wanna support us. Uh, and thank you. This is not a happy man. This is not a happy man. I, th I think they got a talking to, um, for sure. I think they, they got talked at, talked to, so as of September 2021, Rooster Teeth's primary YouTube channel had 9.18 million subscribers and generated more than 6 billion video views. Uh, Deadline has reached out to YouTube corporate for comment. Why would, why would YouTube corporate comment? Rooster Teeth is a nothing burger to YouTube. Have you seen what Mr. Beast gets in a day? Have you seen what your average independent gamer gets in a day? They shut down Achievement Hunter because it was failing so bad. You know, this is a comp. They're done. They are done. Put a fork in them. This thing's done. Uh, here are some of the comments on Deadline. We'll go out and look at what's going on on Twitter. Why hasn't Zaslav sold them off or shut them down? He'd save some money instead of wasting it on a niche product. Same with DC's in-house publishing. Despite Barbie's success, he needs to make cuts. He won't kill CNN, so those two will have to do. Uh, Rooster Teeth should sign a Rumble contract, move their old stuff and death battle over there. And like Ruby, that stuff would do well. Uh, they're probably not allowed to. Anonymous, YouTube is not the future of animation that should have been known years ago. Uh, that probably is true. I mean, YouTube animators have done very well, but YouTube, unfortunately, uh, tends to favor quantity over quality. And if it takes you a year to make a short, people are going to forget about you. People need to start moving to Rumble. Rumble's not going to Rumble's not going to do anything for Rooster Teeth. They're owned by Warner Brothers now. Um, Rumble has too many problematic people and they're proud of it. Andrew Tate, Russell Brand. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Wait, this whole thing is about Rumble. Why is this about Rumble? Oh my God. Okay. Anyway, let's, let's, let's get back to the point here. Let's go out to Twitter slash X. Uh, also a problematic platform. I missed all of this. How did I miss? Th How the hell did I miss this? Uh, so this is what people are saying. That ain't it, Chief. Thanks, but now nah, I pay for YouTube Premium so I don't have to deal with a ridiculous amount of ads. Not going to do the same thing uh, for the exactly one Rooster Teeth show I watch. And I know I can watch it for free, but the ads on the Rooster Teeth site are more frequent than YouTube's. Uh, subscribe to Pandora Premium. Thanks. Everyone disliked that. Why not put new things up on YouTube, but like a week or two later? And of course, animation is harder than expensive, but we learned that you were under fucking paying your animators and overworking them. So I hope to God that's fixed. Well, not if they don't have any money. They don't have any money. It's not getting fixed. I don't think they have any money. I mean, if they were, if they were really serious about animation, uh, they would be producing shows that they could, you know, basically package and sell on streaming. And they tried that and it didn't work for them very well. They basically are a YouTube thing or an internet thing that, Icarus itself, you know, Rooster Teeth Icarus itself. I understand you make more money off your website, but from a recruitment and retention standpoint, it doesn't make sense. How are you going to bring in new audiences? Most people would find you through YouTube, not through your website. That's true. Uh, you're now requiring your current fans to use another platform, which can become tedious. That is true. Uh, websites don't work as well as they used to. Ideally, it would be great if everybody had their own website. And I would love for more people to have their own websites, their own little corners of the internet. But uh, Google is making it harder and harder to find websites. They're basically, with AI especially, they're giving people uh, kind of a cursory evaluation of content uh, scraped from websites. And there's no reason to even go to a website anymore. And they're also pushing YouTube content to the top of their search results. So the best chance that Rooster Teeth has to get found is on YouTube but they're not making enough money on YouTube because nobody's watching their stuff anymore because it's not rooster teeth anymore. 
Why not keep your back catalog on YouTube and mirror to your website? Odyssey, BitChute, Rumble, etc. Yeah. Maximum corporate cringe. Yes. Damn, I knew that Rooster Teeth was circling the drain, but I didn't know it was that bad. You should have been watching Clownfish TV for the last like three or four years now. I am actually shocked. Shocked that they're still around. This kills the brand. You guys should really just shut it down. Uh, this is like removing karma points from Rooster Teeth forums. You just pissed off the most loyal fans. They've been pissing their fans off for years. God, it's so like it's so weird to see how things have changed because when we first started saying, hey, Rooster Teeth, it's not looking too good. It's looking like Warner Brothers might shut them down. We had so many people come out of the woodwork and attack us. Rooster Teeth is never going to be shut down. Rooster Teeth is fine. Why are you accusing Rooster Teeth of underpaying and abusing their animators? Why are you accusing Rooster Teeth Achievement Hunter personalities of uh, sleeping around? No scandals, clownfish. What's your game? You're lying. You're lying. No. It's like this, this company's done, man. It's I, how they are existing. Again, is beyond me. They have basically hit G4 TV levels of irrelevance in this space. And it could have gone the opposite. If they had proper leadership, that wasn't trying to flit around Hollywood and do all this Hollywood shit and try to make their corporate masters happy. If they actually had proper leadership, if they had the OG crew in there and they said, Hey, you know what? We're, if we're going to do a YouTube thing, we're going to be the best fucking YouTube channel on YouTube. And we're just going to go all in and we're going to sell the shit out of merchandise and we're going to crowdfund animation and we're going to do all this shit. And we're going to do it without Warner brothers. If they just did that, they would be fine. But I think it's too late. I think the, the, the damage is done. I mean, this looks like a freaking fast food restaurant. What are you doing, guys? Come on. I cannot understand the reasoning behind this. I also see some issues just like gamers hate having five different launchers. Viewers hate having to go to different websites. That's true. People stay where you find them. We have found this out when we did web comics. We had mirrored our comic on some sites like Webtoon and, and Tapas and some other ones. And we had different audiences on every platform and they did not intermingle. We tried to drive people to the main website because we actually could monetize them better with ads. It was like, I'd rather just post to one place than have to post to like four different places, but people wouldn't have it. They're like, no, we found your stuff on Webtoon. So we're just, we're just staying on Webtoon. I'll give it another shot, but bad streaming quality, multiple 45 second or longer ads will make me leave in a heartbeat. Try firing more employees. They'll save you some money for a few months. Oh my God. The hit game Hades was on the Epic store for over a year before launching on steam. Most people had no idea it existed until it was finally available on steam. And as popularity skyrocketed to be game of the year, just an observation. Yeah. If you're not on YouTube, you're doing video content. You don't have to like YouTube. I've got issues with YouTube, but that's where most people go for video content. And if you're not on YouTube, you, you don't exist. Everyone's really upset over this, but I think it makes sense. I use the website anyway. Well, I guess if you use a website, that's fine. Uh, every day is another change in the wrong direction. It's really sad to see this happen to a company I love so much. Uh, Rooster Teeth puts money before community. It's been a sad decline. They have to. I don't think this is their decision. I think it's been, this has been Warner Brothers telling them, make money or we shut you down. Uh, your shows aren't doing well because they aren't good. It's not because of YouTube. You want more support that makes something worthy of that support. That is actually true. I don't even like that one. This is the problem. If people liked your content, Rooster Teeth, you'd be doing better. I mean, these are these numbers have been declined for a while. I mean, they're still kind of hovering around. I mean, seven, eight million a month, but that's nothing compared to what they used to get. That's not nothing compared to what like Machinima used to get. And and Warner Brothers shut them down. ATT shut them down. You know, it's just it's it's I think they've basically been buying themselves time saying we can do more than machinima. We're not just a gaming channel. We can do uh, 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 cartoons and we can do a uh, podcast and we can sell merch and we got Ruby. You like Ruby, right? <laughs> Make the website and the app actually user friendly gun to their back. Oh my God. This company really has fallen apart. Yeah, it's over. Rooster teeth is failing. It's about time. Everybody else sees it. I, 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 again, Absolutely shocked it has taken this long for this company to get to this point. We've been watching this, this death of Rooster Teeth for like four years now. And I was told years ago 
by somebody at Warner that Rooster Teeth and Crunchyroll were on the chopping block. And possibly there would be consolidation in the animation divisions. Because basically, at that time, with AT&T, cartoons, animation, not important in any, any way, shape, or form to management. And they were just thinking like, yeah, we'll just kind of combine all the cartoon stuff and then sell some of it off. So what ultimately happened was Crunchyroll did get sold. My understanding was Crunchyroll was just going to get rolled into either Cartoon Network or get rolled into HBO Max or whatever they were going to do. And Rooster Teeth was eventually going to get shut down. But here they are, like freaking cockroaches. But I think this is it, man. This is it. And that is a sad, sad. Here's the app. Okay, let's see here. Wait, delete Rooster Teeth. Oh, my God. So I think I'll just end it there. Yeah, they're, they're done. You can't do this to people. You can't say, hey, guys, I know you've been watching us on YouTube for like 10, 12, 15 years. However long it's been. However long they've been on YouTube. And be like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, just we're not going to post new stuff over here anymore. You're going to have to come over to the website. We're going to pay all that shit. Now, they said, yeah, there's some content for free, but you're you're going to have to probably become a first member. They're really pushing that first membership. He does not look like a happy camper. Uh, I think he's <laughs> there literally is a guy behind him holding a gun to his back being like, make money, dude, make money or you're done. You are done. Uh, I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.